Got a Virginia map. I love maps. So I talked with the lady in there. That I guess the other tunnels in Virginia here. <clears throat> I was telling her I think the the, the longest one was in uh, West Virginia, and it, they closed it down years ago. So I figured I'd take a pee there and. Uh, Didn't like the restroom. That's probably the the worst. It was clean, but there went. Don't want to talk about anatomy or whatever of old men, but uh, not the best restroom. <laughs> uh, Continue on I-77 South for 20 miles. <clears throat> Still getting the tire thing. I got a call about the. Uh, tire rotation schedule because I've got a lot more tread on the front than the back so I gotta ask in this electric car what wears out the most you figure front wheel drive the front ones wear out but maybe something about the weight of the battery I don't know so and uh, we're also going to turn you guys back on for the uh, downgrade into North Carolina we're going to uh, see how many miles are added on of course, you know, it'll never be as much as what's taken off coming back up that hill. So, now there's a charger down around on the west side of 77 from Mount Airy. And it's a charge point. And uh, really liking the charge point. They're really concerned for us uh, leak drivers and stuff with the Chatamo. Before my life have I been excited about new cars, even if they're ice cars, with the two tones and the, the designs and stuff. The new Broncos are gorgeous. They look just the right size, better than anything that was ever made. There's a beautiful rest area on the north side over there too. the trike with us. We left the luggage and the lunch and the drinks and the landscape camera and tripod back in the room. I still got the other uh, older camera which I changed lenses on and stuff. But uh, Actually I think the big lens for that one is in the camera bag for the new, newer camera. So. Alright. We'll see at the next tunnel where we'll we pull off the charge. Uh, Google saying 20 miles, so that might take us down where we can put like 10% in or whatever. Uh, just to let Electrify America know hey, the Chatamo bastard that called yesterday, he's uh, two states away. get things fixed, but you know how they, they, I don't know, they're just not, they're just not up to it, well here's just the Withville side, they'll let you see, okay, see you in a bit.
came up on. God, I wish this uh, smartphone would stay where you left it or whatever. And, uh, push the button, swipe it. The camera icon is like the most miserable thing to get working. And then you gotta swipe it up the video and then push the little red thing. So, sorry about the delay, that one snuck up on me. <coughs> I guess the 55 mile an hour thing, and you know, I thought it would be like construction. Uh, we did it. Alright, see you later. And right, then your destination will be on the right. Turn left at Tazewell Street, then turn left. Turn left, then turn right. Okay, we're in with much difficulty. Uh, like every other car charging entity on Earth, they need to send out charge cards. I don't have a phone signal here, so of course, uh, had me re log in to Electri America, which I did the app before I left this morning. And neither one are going to get a signal, so I had to use my credit card and I'm paying the full fees or whatever. So I'll call them on the road or whatever. Uh, so it says up to 50 kilowatts, and that's I don't want too fast anyway. I'm in no hurry for anything. Basically, we came here to say, hey, we, we made it or whatever without you using uh, charge points. So 39 kilowatts. So uh, we didn't need a charge. Uh, we just came here and this thing's gonna slow way down pretty soon so first use on them now I gotta call them and tell them I was here and uh, but uh, this guy's plugged in and working so maybe he's got a better uh, cell phone or something that works for a nearby tower so that's your Ford Mustang Mach-E Whistville, Virginia. Oh, he's from Virginia. Huh? Pretty cool. So, what do we got? They got the new stickers. He's on a 350. There's your 150s. Uh, two more 350s. And then I'm over here at the uh, <laughs> match my brain speed thing. 150 and 50. So, huh, what's going on? There's like three police back over here on the sheets or whatever. 
I'll circle around the charger and catch them on there and stuff. So, couldn't call customer assistance. So, it did take my credit card. So, uh, I can probably get a free charge. But I want to make sure this worked in case I need it on the way home. Uh, so, what I'll probably do is make sure I go to the charge point where I'm going. And just skip this whole madness or whatever. And, uh, there is another interstate here that might be closer to where I get off 77 that I can hook up on. But, uh... There she is. We picked up some bird poo, I guess, at the uh, lodge. So we're up to 86 cents, three kilowatts. Uh, I compare this with what I traded in, the Chevy Express van. It was rated 29 highway, but uh, yeah, I never hit that. I never hit it instantaneous at any point, except maybe going down a hill. And it had the 4.3 liter V6. It actually got better mileage than the older uh, four-speed automatic. It was an eight-speed 2019. So. And all that wasted space. I could fit all kinds of kayaks and bikes in there and stuff. This I can just fit the Weiss trike in, not even mine. But I think it's the perfect car to zip around in. Yeah, the birds nailed me last night. Holy crap. All right. I'm going to take some photos and stuff, and uh, we'll be calling these guys on the road or when we get back to the lodge tonight to get a refund. And nothing but a headache. I mean, uh, I've been a member since the spring. <laughs> and the first two are like, eh. this one's a fail because I don't have my membership card. And the other one was a complete fail because it wasn't working. So, yeah, they got the new stickers. The one sticker I said is, is in-op, doesn't work. So, need Electri America to put out charge cards so you don't have to play with the phone and rely on a phone signal and stuff. So, take care. So, this is the intersection that wasn't marked worth a damn 40 years ago. And I wasn't the only one that would keep going on 81 for uh, forever. Whatever it was, it was worse at night. Now look, it's painted. That's how bad it was. They've got it painted and marked everywhere. So you got 81 or whatever, and you know, when you're young and in the military, you'd cut, cut everything close. Too close, especially for the crap, rusted Ohio cars I drove. So I had this uh, super rusty Buick Apollo. 350 engine. Everything in the trunk got wet. The most rusted car uh, fender wise I ever had. The rocker panels didn't rust, which was kind of strange. And the frame was solid. But the uh, rear fenders were just shot. I'm coming down here middle of the night go out 81 and I've got my leave you know I've got a little bit of a buffer zone or whatever but it really wasn't that it was just a, like holy crap I'm pissed so it wasn't the only I've done it at least twice or whatever and the Buick was just legend <laughs> so <clears throat> here I am middle of the night doing 90 miles an hour on these roads in a rusted out Buick. It didn't have a whole lot of miles, but it had, you know, it was all salt miles. But, uh, you didn't see any of the rust on the inside. It was a beautiful running car and beautiful shifting car. And I think it did uh, 18 to 20 on the highway. We won't talk about getting off the highway. Well, I've got enough battery to make it to South Carolina. So, I'm doing 90 miles an hour. Uh, I guess it's, well, it might have been daylight with that one. I know I'd done it at night before with another car. And it would just piss you off because you're like 10, 20 miles out of your way. Like, son of a, what the living hell. 
so anyway, uh, you get down to Ridgeway, uh, my mom found this, and I think it's, it might be exit 34, route 34, whatever it is, the route and the exit match, and you can buy this cute little town that had a police station the size of a double wide telephone booth. So that you got to pretty much do the speed limit on a two lane road. And uh, I'm getting scared because I think it's the day I got to go back to work. So it wasn't the nighttime one. And I get out here, I think it's uh, I 20 that goes into Florence. And uh, there's a 911 Porsche. And the guy's got one of those big radar units from the 80s, early 80s. And I can see the lights on the freaking dash. <laughs> that's, how, that's how big those were. So I'm like, son of a bitch, and they must be, you know, that's probably what made me get one. <laughs> so I'm following this guy, watching the lights on his dash. He doesn't know what the hell's behind him. He probably sees a fender flap out every once in a while on the back of his mirror. And we're doing between 90 and 115 miles an hour. Because when he went over 100, he's trying to lose me. And I don't know what that Buick Apollo would do. But I was pretty damn impressed with that Buick 350. So I get into, uh, at the end of 20, it's changed now, but it used to end like in a city, the Florence or whatever, and it was uh, the McDonald's across from the intersection, and I made the mistake of going in there, and you know, that's when all the heat builds up in the car. And it just blew the radiator out of the car. I mean, it just disintegrated from all the rust and corrosion from being in Ohio all these years. I was waiting for this guy either to pull off or... There we go. He woke up. Must not make a big clicky sound in the truck. So, I got this green shit all over the parking lot at McDonald's. Kmart across the street, I could get like these two things of sealer and some antifreeze and it just pours out. And I think I got some to stay in and then I headed out and it the car went a few miles and stopped. Two different people offered me rides at some convenience gas station that's still there. I don't know if it's 501 or 301 from there. And uh I said, hey, I gotta bring my dad's shotgun. That's his prize shotgun. We're gonna do hunting now, yeah, no problem. Get these guys in the gate. My shop chief takes his old truck. It's seven different colors of a Chevy Apache. We rent it. I, I rent a tow bar. He said, I gotta pay for his gas. We go out and tow the damn thing home during work hours on second shift that night in the military. That's like, save my, save my ass. And his truck didn't use hardly any gas at all. He had a 327 in there. So that's the story of uh, coming this way in the military at the last minute. Trying to return the day you got to get back to work. Oh, uh, crap. But, yeah, there was a nighttime one before where I floored it. Like, and, but the 90-mile-an-hour one, that's... And the Porsche, I guess that's what got me to spend all the money on a fuzz buster. I think that's what I had, I don't know.